Hey guys, this is Hunter Johnson, you're watching BHS TV. Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Wednesday, November 16th. I'm Kieran Simmer. And I'm Mason Schaefer, and here's what's going on at BHS. French Club will be having a meeting tomorrow after school in room H206. They will be making origami Eiffel Towers and discussing their upcoming events. Please bring a canned food item to participate in the food drive. This week, Chainlink is having their annual food drive at BHS. You can take your donations to your club or group team leader. If you are not on a team, take them to the office. The team that brings the most donations will get donuts before school. The drive will go from November 14th to the 18th, and all donations will go to the local food pantry here in Brownsburg. November is DECA month, and the BHS chapter has been very busy so far this year. They would like to invite you to join them in their Friday themes this month, which include College T-Shirt Day on November 18th. And don't forget to follow BHS DECA on Twitter and Instagram at BHS DECA Depot. The week of November 20th, BHS will be taking over Indiana's DECA Instagram. They would also like to thank you for the support this year with the cookie and ice cream sales. BHS TV's Brian Bandy caught up with the girls' basketball players and coaches and talked about the season. Here's the story. My goal this season is for us to advance and uh, pass sectionals and beat Plainfield and also beat teams that we should have beaten last year. I think our goals for this season, good goals for us, would be to win county conference and sectional. So those are definitely our goals. Our chemistry, it's getting there. Um, we definitely have some bonding to do off the court. Really close. Like, the seniors are good with the freshmen and everyone's just, it's like we've known each other forever. It's good. We're very close off the court, but I think we need to show it a little bit more on the court. Um, there's definitely things that we need to work on together as a team and not just individually. Improvement from last year, I think we've got more scoring. We improved a lot on speed. Last year we were a little slow, and this year with the incoming freshmen, we're a lot faster. I just think they're really good kids. They're coachable. Um, they're always wanting to improve. They're competitive. I like her because she always she's always a fun time, but then when it comes down to business, she's ready. Off the court, you know, you can always go to her if you have a problem or need to talk to her. So um, she's really supportive of all of us and everything that we do. We had a good group of seniors that graduated last year. Uh, we gradu graduated three seniors, so we have three freshmen that kind of have stepped up and started to play a big role. It's really hard to replace this on a roper. Tasha Hall and Aaliyah Walker because it was a lot of leadership. Step up and be leaders to everybody on the court and you know get the whole school hyped up for girls basketball. Thanks Brian. Good luck to our Lady Bulldogs this season. Now it's time for sports. Hey Zachary, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, thanks. The girls swimming and diving team got their season underway last night against Tri-West. The dogs won every event on the night on their way to a 141-42 to win. Leading the Bulldogs on the night were Logan Rapogo with wins in the 200 free and the 500 free. Jenny Dressen with wins in the 200 IM and 100 backstroke. Bailey LaPaul with wins in the 50 free and 100 fly. Daniela LeClerc with a win in diving. Abby Callis with a win in 100 free. And Madison Maringer with a win in the 100 breast. The dogs also won all three relays. Jenny, Madison, Bailey, and Abby won the 200 medley relay to start the meet. Abby, Madison, Logan, and Miranda Peak won the 200 free relay, and Logan, Bailey, Miranda, and AJ Mole won the 400 free relay. The Bulldogs will be in the pool next week when they travel to Mooresville on Tuesday. The girls' varsity basketball team was at Mooresville last night. The Dogs led most of the game, but the Pioneers took control down the stretch, hitting their free throws in the fourth quarter and earning a 55 to 45 win. Allison Bose led the Dogs with the nine points, and Tyne McKenzie added eight. The JV girls basketball team got a win over Mooresville last night, 35 to 30. Katie Brocher led the team with 11 points, while Megan Christian added nine. This win pushes the Dogs to four and one on the season. The Lady Dogs are back in action Friday night at home against Noblesville. Good luck, ladies. Congratulations to quarterback Hunter Johnson, who's presented his jersey for the U.S. Army All-American Game on Monday evening. Hunter is one of just 100 athletes in the entire country to be selected for this game, which will be aired on Saturday, January 7th in San Antonio, Texas, and will air live on NBC. 
It's been really fun. Um, you know, this past four years, and it's been a lot of learning. Um, you know, we've had a lot of coaches over the past four years, and, and uh, you know, I've learned a lot, and I feel like I've become a, a better player over the past four years. And I'm just so blessed for everything that's that's happened happened to me, and I wouldn't change a thing about it. He really kind of, you know, you know, is an epitome of, of what basically what the Army All American is all about, and, and uh, so so that's that part of it is as, as good as the award itself. There will be a call-out meeting next Monday, November 21st, for any girl wanting to try out for the tennis team this year. The meeting will be in the pool classroom from 3 to 3.30. Information packets and schedules will be distributed. Please bring a writing utensil and your uniform and t-shirt sizes. Contact Coach Starkey if you have any questions. Hey, that's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Zachary. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Don't forget to bring your canned food items this week. That's all we got for you today. See you on Friday.